everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays 60 Seconds Reatomized. Uh, Dolores carried us to an incredible victory on our most previous run. No, do not do the tutorial. Are you out of your mind? We are going to do... Same difficulty. No need to go easy. Ideally, I would like to make my family... You know, the whole family live a little bit longer would be nice, but it's hard, okay? What do we need? Let's talk about priorities. A radio is a large priority. A briefcase is a large priority, and it's right here. So here's what we're doing. We're grabbing a water bottle. We're grabbing this briefcase. We're heading to the shelter. That's a big one. Where are we going next? A radio would be incredible, but I've already entered this room. A padlock is a good late game option i see my wife i will take her okay we got two people that's enough to stave off insanity i see that we have a gas mask very important a barterable good a flashlight incredibly useful perhaps might i interest myself i see the radio the radio is of the utmost importance what's what's happening next water bottle Bathroom radio. How much space we got? Two spaces. Timmy, MJ, I'm so sorry, okay? Like, I, I really do want to bring you. We're so light on food, dude. We can't. We can't. We gotta go. MJ, I know I've been leaving you behind a lot, okay? It's just you gotta, <laughs> you gotta make tough choices in the apocalypse. I'm sorry. Where did we screw this one up? We're very light on food. But we did get a lot of miscellaneous goods, and a gas mask plus briefcase is a very good start as well. <laughs> okay, good work. Good work, team. We got a first aid kit. We've only got two cans of soup, though. That's the, And an axe. That's, these, are, these are solid, but no soup is a big problem. Okay, so day one, you know the deal. Nothing's going wrong. Day two, we're going to prep uh, for... You know what? Let's send Timmy out into the wasteland for once. We don't do that too often. So, Timmy, go ahead and eat something. We're going to prepare to send you out. And uh, spiders are operating under the assumption they have the same rights as we do. We will use the scout's handbook to deal with them. Can you get a soup can out of this? I think you can get a soup can out of this event. If everything goes... I think we did get a soup can out of it. Plus one soup can. A few precise hits and suddenly every spider is aware of what the word decimation means. Ted needs water. Okay, everybody's thirsty. That's fine. Timmy ate recently. Probably should feed him before an expedition, but desperate times call for desperate measures. We're going briefcase gas mask. I do want to keep one of those to help us in the case of uh, an event, but I think that we have first aid, which can accomplish a similar thing. Ted's not thirsty. Dolores isn't thirsty. There is a lot of space down here, and we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose, we felt pretty sick. It's the smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate? I will investigate. We can afford to get sick because we have a first aid kit. Take risks to make our life better in the future. I think we got one more soup can out of that. Look at this. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated the rat soup can and gave him a proper burial. Everybody's pretty happy. We're not big fans of our strange smelling shelter, but when we started to smell something burning, we quickly realized how much we prefer the nothing is on fire scent it had before. What supplies do we save? We save our radio, because it's a necessity. But losing the first aid kit sucks real bad. That hurts a grid. That's a terrible event for us. F in chat, please. Y'all need some H2O. Today we've met a bunch of people dressed in Halloween doctor outfits. They claim to be from a field hospital, moving from place to place. Some of their supplies got eaten. They're asking us if we have spare water. Sorry to do this, but this is a, a big... Uh, what's the opposite of 10-4? I gotta hit you with a no on that, buddy. We need this water for ourselves. I've been generous in the past to no benefit whatsoever. You guys are a little peckish, right? Day 7, you can eat a quarter can each. As we were about to start our book club discussion on the only book we've read, the phone book, we were interrupted by a rapid knocking at the door. So this is the event. The refugees want food. They want water. They want first aid kit. I'm sorry to tell you, I cannot do this. 
I've been too generous in the past. Timmy, the legend has returned with like eight soup cans. Timmy, you're genius. Two soup cans. The cinema had a strict policy of not bringing your own drinks into the movie hall. Seems like somebody broke the rules. We found a lot of bottles in the last row. Some were even full. We also found a deck of cards. Unfortunately, we did lose briefcase gas mask. But those supplies, they will keep us going for, for quite some time. Now, contamination is strong. We have no gas mask and no first aid kit, so we're not going out. But Timmy just bought us like another, I don't know, like... 20 days of survival. Ted needs water. Dolores needs water. Timmy's still a little hungry. That's fine. Everybody's thirsty. So let's just go ahead and crack one of these Dasani's wide open. Contamination is still strong. We didn't expect to get a phone call. You know? This is the Hill Valley event. We're, we're trying to get to a different path. We've been rescued by the military. To get invited to like a survivor's compound would be cool. Timmy keeps falling asleep in his chair. He's no longer hungry, no longer thirsty. Ted's not thirsty, but Dolores is a little peckish. You don't eat on day 10, okay? Even though you just did an event, you don't eat on day 10. Maybe day 11. Big risk to our health. Trash cans getting disgusting. These giant green cockroaches are a good motivator to clean up. Unfortunately, I got a fire on like my fourth day. And all of our miscellaneous goods have been taken care of, unfortunately. We have roaches everywhere. Dolores is not eaten. Timmy needs to eat. Okay, everybody can eat today. I consider this acceptable. If everybody's gonna eat, everybody's gonna eat. Going to the wasteland is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. I do mind, but we'll probably... I think the more expeditions, the merrier much of the time. I do wish we had more materials, but how are we going to get more materials without going out? We got to, like, pray for an event. Y'all are thirsty. What's our event today? Heard a quiet knock. We found only a suitcase, and there was no one around. Should we check what's inside? I will do it. We'll do this instead of doing an expedition, because someone could get sick from this. Duly noted. Okay. It was expired soup. We're not accepting anonymous gifts ever again. So check this out, alright? You're not gonna love what I'm doing here. We're gonna send Ted out to the surface. The roaches are multiplying and we have no materials with which to deal with them. Why send Ted? He's the greatest risk, but he's also the least valuable member of the squad right now. Due to his infectious disease. I hate to say it. That's how it's gonna be. We're not giving him anything either. Ted, best of luck to you on the surface. I give it about a one-third chance Ted returns to us. Okay, Timmy still needs to rest. Everybody's thirsty. Dolores is a little hungry, but we're gonna ration. We gotta wait. Turn on that radio. Let's get a heads up from the military. If we get saved by the military, I would still consider that a huge success. Don't get me wrong. Dolores still wants to eat. Timmy, you don't get to eat today, okay? Hold on. We can keep sitting on our backsides in this tiny bunker, or we can think about getting as far away as possible. Who would have thought... The Russians would ruin such a lovely neighborhood. We could do it on our own, the escaping part, not the ruining part. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our e eyes and ears open. <laughs> Excuse me, family, this is Ted. Do you have any Neocitrin or Fisherman's Friend cough drops? I'm quite ill. Today, Timmy eats. Trader alert, Timmy salvaged comic books are mostly harmless science fiction pulp. However, some of them don't feature the brave Astro Citizen program astronauts, but cosmonauts. Should we banish Timmy to the wasteland for his traitorous ways and dispose of the blasphemous comics? Absolutely not. In normal circumstances, we might consider this. However, Timmy was an absolute legend for us on day one. He, he brought back so many soup cans, I refuse to banish him. Timmy needs to eat again? Really? You just ate, Timmy, didn't you? Didn't you? 
I think you did, but you know what? You brought back the soup cans. Who am I to tell you you can't have more? I'm a benevolent leader. Someone posted on my Circle Jerk subreddit a picture, that, and it was a GIF from Mad Max Fury Road, and it said NL rationing water in the apocalypse. It was right from the start of the movie, where Immortan Joe makes the Skull Mountain just rain water fall down on everybody. Hey, man. I want to be respected, not exclusively feared. I don't think Ted's returning. It's, it's been a long time. The cockroaches now rule the roost. Dolores is a little hungry, but you don't get to eat on day one of hunger. When we opened the shelter door, we saw a letter on the ground. It was a cry for help from a group of friendly survivors. They're asking us to bring some supplies to a set location. They say we will not regret our generosity. Because there's only two of us, I'm willing to take a risk on a soup can in order to get a benefit out of it. We lost the soup can. However, there's the we got we made contact with the twin siblings. Okay. They thanked us and promised to stay in touch. Dolores is not eaten in a while. You get a little soup. You will give us a harmonica for a lock or bullets for a radio. I still think we need the radio. Honestly, you might think I've lost it. I think the harmonica is more valuable than the lock. The harmonica protects against two raider expeditions on average, I think. Whereas the lock is used once. Dolores is fatigued. Everybody's thirsty. A group of people dressed in green pajamas knocked on our hatch. They insisted they are the merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor. We're pretty poor, so maybe we can make some new friends. I agree. This is the last time we had so many resources. I was not surprised when we were robbed. This time, I would be surprised. Let's go! They gave us so many supplies, and Ted has returned, and there's a first aid kit. <laughs> oh, let's go. Ted got water bottles. Hold on, what did... So... We got one first aid kit from the Merry Men. Ted got wa three water, two food, and we found the tank. All right. So, Ted, you definitely get the first aid kit. You definitely get to eat something. Timmy's good to go. It's awfully quiet. I think this is a great day to send Timmy to the wasteland. When emptying our bucket in front of our shelter, we discovered a hastily drawn map on one of the ruined walls. Someone drew a route and marked a spot at the end of it. Maybe there's supplies hidden there? Should we check it out? Timmy, why don't you go make yourself useful? This run's got legs, dude. This run's got legs. We did get a gun. We got a gun. Ted's hungry. He's thirsty. Timmy's hungry. Dolores is just fatigued. Hungry? You eat. Hungry, thirsty? Drink something. Timmy, go to the wasteland. What are you taking with you? Right now, Timmy, I think you take nothing. I think you take your bare freaking hands. Gray work. Gray work. Day 24. We look better than we did on day one. To be honest with you. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Dolores is hungry. Dolores, you don't get to eat on day one of your uh, hunger. Day two? Yes. It turns out Mr. Freeman, the physics teacher at Timmy's school, was right. One plus one does indeed make two. In our case, it's two or more cockroaches. We need to clean up our mess or end up with a full-blown infestation. Thank God we have the gun. I don't want to let this cockroach apocalypse last any longer. I think we've actually done it. <laughs> the roaches lie defeated. This is a glorious day for humanity. Ted's still tired. Dolores, still tired. But she'll eat something today. The last time we went out on an expedition, we noticed an abandoned tank just sitting there. It looks damaged, but it may contain supplies. Shall we send someone to investigate? Last time we did this, someone exploded. I'm gonna hit that with a no. I'm, I, I think I don't want to jeopardize our current situation. I think I think everything's going pretty okay right now, to be honest. We might be able to get something out of it, but I don't want to risk it too much. Ted's thirsty. Go ahead. Shine your boots and hoist the flag. The army is on the radio again. They're telling us to get our flashlight ready to signal their aircraft. Send it, dude. That's why we got the flashlight. Now I feel comfortable trading the flashlight if it would give us something more useful. 
Everything was going as planned, but then the flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get it just in time to hear the distant roar we're, of the plane's engines. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Great news. Await further instructions. This is, this is fantastic. We got so many beads on potential survival. Ted's tired. Dolores. She's thirsty? You don't- I think you ate yesterday. We've been hearing a lot of noises coming from our neighborhood. Our guess is that there was a zoo escape and the animals are stampeding up there. It would- might be a good chance to hunt some fresh food. We have a gun. Send Dolores, please. Timmy's returned, I hope. He has. The, the food! And the water! And the bug spray! And the Boy Scout handbook! Dolores shot a two-headed donkey that was carrying a package. All that remained were a few cans of soup. That's still pretty good. Timmy. Timmy. Hold on. We spotted an untouched store with many products. Even food different than tomato soup. A real treat in these post-apocalyptic times. When we were about to reach it, a terrible noise made us stop in our tracks. Something heavy fell straight from the sky, crashing into the, the store and destroying it. After the dust settled, we realized we were looking at a spaceship, just like Timmy's comics. Could it be saucer men from Mars? Then why does it bear American flag on the side and the logo of something called Astro Citizen? Could it be infiltration? Crafty little aliens. Someone stuffed a bunch of items into a big sock. Not sure how the sock made it through the crash, but it protected the supplies inside. Bug spray and water. We were tempted to take a bunch of jewelry. Instead, though, we took the Boy Scout handbook. The vehicle down the street looked like someone's work in progress. We kept our distance, but it could be our ticket out of here. Timmy is tired and hungry. Dolores is hungry. This is totally fine, dude. Should we risk it? I have a real... I have a real compulsion to do it. But I'm gonna wait until maybe nobody's fatigued anymore. We might be able to just let it ride. Okay, here's the deal, dude. <laughs> I will not trade for Sharikov. We might- I, Sharikov can give us the event that allows us to start talking with the CIA, but... Everything's going just fine right now as far as I'm concerned, so no thank you. Timmy's thirsty and hungry. Ted's thirsty and hungry. You drink, Timmy eats, Ted, you're gonna get ready to eat something in the future. Ted seems to be in good shape. We're going out. We were happy to open the door and see some friendly faces. The siblings are asking for our help. They decided a small tent is not fit to house their group anymore and decided to start building a small camp. You may have- And my axe! I've been waiting. I've been waiting to say it. Day 30 and everything's going extremely well. Everybody was really grateful and we got a bunch of friendly pats on the back. Helping people sure is a nice feeling. Look at that. Got an axe and helped the twins build some houses. It's so pleasant. Ted's hungry. Timmy is tired. Dolores is thirsty. And probably still fatigued. Um, hungry? Thirsty? You're doing great. Alright. Ted? I, don't, I still don't think you bring anything. We're pushing our luck a little bit, but hey, if we've got the advantage, why not let the advantage ride a little bit and try to make, you know, compound interest on it. Timmy's hungry. Dolores is fine. Timmy didn't say a word, but when he was outside, he scratched his hand on a wire. His wound is not looking pretty, and we need to do something about it. Sorry, Timmy. We got no first aid. It has to be done. <laughs> he still got his hand. Timmy was very brave. Oh, we, he we cleaned it up with a heated axe blade. The axe is broken, but Timmy seems much better. That's good to prevent Timmy from getting ill, honestly. Timmy is thirsty. Dolores does not need food yet. So this is what it's come down to. Sitting in our shelter with very few supplies and a growing sense of impending doom. If only there was something we could do about it, like break into our neighbor's shelter. We know the lock is broken, and we saw her restocking the shelter before the bomb fell. Should we go check it out? Ah, uh, yes! Any port in a storm. This is not a time to be dictated by our morals. <laughs> Got him. Plus four soup cans. <laughs> Let's go! We're eating good tonight. 
We got a visit today from a person with a special mutation. So these are the people that will protect us from uh, one bandit encounter. Guess what? We just got four soup cans. That's a great return on our investment. Everything's coming up Millhouse right now, boys. Timmy's still tired. Dolores, on the other hand, just fatigued. Big difference. A few more hours of coughing and we'll get used to it. Our ventilation fans have halted and no fresh air seems to be circulating. We have to fix it before we suffocate. This leads to injury most of the time. It angers the hive. Let's use our bug spray. Another knock on the door, but no, no Theodore has returned. We lost our bug spray, but fixed the ventilation. Timmy's thirsty. Dolores is fine. We ran into a smelly old man. Oh, it's it's Rock Lord. Okay, here's the thing, Jim. I will always buy your rock. Ted has returned. No sickness, please. No injury, please. He's sick. It's okay. The local school is where he went. He got two water bottles. That's great. He got a gas mask. That's great. He became infected with some something. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Okay, so... This is, uh... Now we have to start being slightly... Slightly concerned. You guys ever gonna get over your tiredness? We played a game of lists of things you hate the most and our neighbor's name kept coming up. Please, raid their shelter. If you can get a first aid kit... We're in the clear. We, we will not lose. Not a first aid kit. What'd you get? Maybe some water? Plus one eggs! Okay. Ted's hungry. He's tired. He's thirsty. Dolores, hungry, thirsty. Timmy, hungry. Everybody gets a can today. Thirsty individuals. Get some... No, you're not thirsty. Dolores, what happened? She's sick too. Oh, this is, this is no good, dude. Okay, what do we do? We were afraid the army wouldn't get back to us, but they did. The next transmission was full of evacuation promises, but ended on a big if. The speaker requested that any survivor groups armed with firearms should dispose of them before they get rescued. We don't know what this is about, but it sounds like it's violating our rights. On the other hand, are there any laws and rights left, or is it everyone for themselves? It- I'm only- this seems like a bad idea, but I'm doing it because it's an objective, okay? I thought we would give it a try. We did so with a heavy heart, but if that's the price, we pay it gladly. Ted's hungry, hasn't recovered. Dolores is no longer hungry. Timmy is hungry and thirsty. Hungry? Okay, you're, you're eating more than you should probably, but that's okay. So actually, everybody's eating today. Because Dolores is going to go out on an expedition. So I'm not going to give her a, anything. Well... Honestly, we might benefit from giving her an axe to protect herself or something. Um, I don't know if that even works like that, but there's no reason to give her a gas mask if she's already sick. And again, I'm sending sick people out, because if they die... It's not that it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's just that it's not as big of a deal as if someone... Uh, if someone uh, that's healthy, like Timmy, for example. The superstar Timmy. If he runs into trouble... Ooh, Ted is cured! Spontaneous curative powers of the game of checkers. Ted's thirsty. Timmy is ready for an expedition. Ah. It's a... An accountant who survives as a trader and gambler. He wants to play a game for two bottles of water. I'm gonna be honest with you. I refuse, because we're... We're so set. Risking it would only be to our, uh, our lack of benefit. Timmy's thirsty. Easy. Our previous expeditions reported a strange vehicle nearby. It's an armored and weaponized tank. No wheels, no gas. Just wasting away out there. How about we turn it into an art project? Unfortunately, we have no materials required to turn it into an art project. But I would like to. I know that that's an endgame condition. Escaping in the tank. Ted is mighty tired. Timmy, on the other hand, is, is absolutely loving life. The problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. 
Please use your gas mask to avoid airborne illness. I beg of you. Fantastic. The gas mask still works. We got two hungry boys. One thirsty boy. You can wait a day. Mysterious sounds are coming from our radio. But they're hidden behind a ton of static. Do we want to tinker with it? It could be something important. Or it could be the opposite. Let's give it a try. We're just sitting in here waiting for mom to come back anyway. Radio appears to still be working. Yikes. We managed to get a slightly cleaner signal after twisting some knobs and pressing some buttons. A female voice talked about being stranded in space. She said something about her crew members going insane and eating all the soup. It's, it's a teaser for 60 parsecs. Okay, so Dolores is dead. Hey, you know what? It's, uh... Is boys only time. <laughs> we're, we're gonna do an expedition. Oh, ever since we jumped into our fallout shelter, we've been wondering about that other door. Yes, please, use the flashlight. One of life's simple joys, hanging with the boys. Look at that, we even picked up a map. Ted's hungry, Timmy's hungry. Why don't you go ahead and eat something? Timmy, you're the next contestant on going out into the wilderness. I'm just going to send you barehanded because I want to keep the map in case we get other events in the future, okay? I know that it's dangerous, but honestly, it's been working out pretty well so far. Ted, enjoy a little bit of water. It's bandits, dude. Oh, oh no, wait. It's not, it's kind of bandits. It's a group of old ladies who were at a tea party not far from here. We thought it would be good manners to talk to them face to face. When we opened the door, they attacked us with their umbrellas. We need to fight back. But we... Mom left our axe outside last time. We're probably gonna get freaking cleaned out. Not cleaned out, but... Oh, wait. It was hard to tell. Our mutated friends jumped out of their hiding spots and came to our aid. That is pretty bad, though, because... Um... Oh, hold on. The army has started broadcasting again. Let's do it. It is pretty bad. Because we've lost our protection, but we still do have the harmonica in case we get raided. It should work once or twice. And look at that. We sent someone to a meeting with the military. We tried our best to answer their questions. We hope our ragged appearance didn't make a bad impression. Ted, somehow, is merely tired. A sleazy-looking trader with an equally scruffy bag wants to give us his cat. That cat has ended my run in the past. I do not acquiesce to his demands. We're just letting it ride. We're on survival rations now. Ted gets a little bit of water today. Seems whoever it is met their end. After a series of terrifying screams, the radio went silent. After that, a distressed woman recited her full name and address. She used to live in our town. Should we take a hike to her house and find out if she left anything of value? It's not like she'll need it, having just been swallowed whole by a bloodthirsty monster from outer space. If we want to win, we hit no. If we want to entertain the YouTube audience, we hit that check mark. I, I feel like, yes, we got soup cans. The address led us to a small apartment. Inside, we found work uniforms, rollerblades, and some supplies. It smelled of coffee. Okay. Was this lady really sent to space? Who was she? We can ponder these questions while eating the tomato soup we took, plus two cans. Ted isn't thirsty anymore, but his stomach's rumbling. Just wait a day. Listen to the radio. Whoa. Listen to the music. Did Timmy return? Did I hear, did I hear the return of a Timothy? I did. He brought... He brought a first aid kit. Timmy, that's incredible. Two soup cans, a water bottle, and a first aid kit. Great. Oh, but Timmy's a little sick. I know you don't have to use your first aid kit for this. He might get better. But he did just earn it. I'm not sending anybody out. Today we were startled when our map slid off the wall. Should we see what's in the safe behind it? We will take a peek. Is it a gun? I don't know what it was. It was a soup can. <laughs> Ted's hungry and thirsty. Timmy's hungry and thirsty. You know what? When you're hanging with the boys, you get to eat. 
We were about to finish our dinner when we heard someone knocking on the door. It seems to be a trader who's interested in ammunition. I will not give you my checkerboard. I've done it before and gotten nothing in return. I understand there's some RNG involved, but we might as well keep it for something more beneficial. Merely fatigued, merely fatigued and tired. There are bandits outside. I will not go outside. We have no ability to interact with this event. I'm telling you, these two boys are getting saved. We're too stacked to not get saved. We did lose a soup can to a furry rodent. Ted's fine. Timmy's a little hungry. No big deal. Timmy's been talking about going to the surface to explore, run, dance, and play with whatever burnt remains can be found. Should we let Timmy out? Do it for the vine. I hear flies. He's probably going to come back. I want his, I want to go for these events, okay? I refuse to raid the local retirement facility because I'm worried our shelter could be uh, could be raided. Timmy's returned. He's so good. Uh, he came back. He d he did nothing at all, but he came back. So that's you know it's a start. <laughs> There's bandits. I refuse to go outside. Raiders are at our door. We use the harmonica. Okay, this is where things are going to get spicy. We could really use some support. Our harmonica exists. And we have, we have pushed them away. The harmonica's OP, dude. Ted, you don't eat on your first bit of hunger. We stumbled across a weird signal. It's the Soviets. Should we listen to it? Let's go ahead. I've never had this event do anything except nothing. But let's see. Perhaps we'll get lucky. It was... Oh, it's the Canadians. We can't understand what they're saying. You... Hey, bud, you're making fun of my accent. Eh? I can't even do a Canadian accent that well. You gotta get mouth for that. You wanna drop the gloves, bud? I refuse to go outside. We're very safe in here. Somebody could give our old harmonica a spin? No. Because if he somehow breaks it, we're liable to get destroyed. By, by raiders and bandits. Ted's still hungry. You know what? Go ahead and eat something. We got a surplus of soup. Someone's at the door. Maybe it's good news. Maybe it's bad news. Should we open it? Dude, that might be the military here to save us. I hope it's the military here to save us. Look at that! Okay. So it's a bit of a samey victory. I'll admit. But hey, dude. We did it. We, got, we survived for 60 days in one. Two months. Now... It does suck to lose, you know, the matriarch of the family. Excuse me, where's my where's my Timothy? <laughs> Timmy appears to have disappeared. <laughs> That's okay, that was a great run. Honestly, we played it pretty close to the vest. We got lucky, we had some great results. I'm happy with that. Well, let's try to get some of the more unique outcomes like getting saved by the military is fine We've proven we can do it, but let's do something different next time for now. Thanks for watching I Hope you've enjoyed it if you did click the like button helps out a great deal of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future for now Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya